Blaze Haas with the Carroll Boys uh, soccer team joining us out here today after a tough 2-1 overtime loss to the Ballard Bombers. And Blaze uh, had a goal early in the match or in that first half for your team here tonight. Uh, talk about the goal. Talk about how things set up for you. Uh, it was a great setup by... Uh, we just switched our formation after going out and talking to McGill. So we were running a 4-4-2. Four, four, and I had Willie set me up with a nice pass and I just took a shot and it just went in. Did you, did you set up the goalie the way you wanted to? Did, did, uh, did you work I, things or, it or was it? With a, we had a lot of strong winds, so mm -hmm. I kind of kicked it out towards uh, the left side and just the wind took it right in. The goalie just helped me out and smacked it right in also. Talk about playing offense on, in the wind like this. I talked with Grant about being a goalie in the wind and how much that affects him. How much does that affect your game out here? Uh, it affects a lot because you could have a totally, you could have a totally horrible shot that you think but in actuality, the wind could take and it could be a really good shot. Or our passes, I mean, you gotta, with the wind that we had, you gotta be able to have the ball low. And we were just kicking it high. What was it? I noticed that tonight as well. What was it that, that, that you guys, both teams seemed to be playing the ball up in the air a lot tonight? It was kind of as if uh, we wanted the wind advantage. So they tr just tried to boot the ball as hard as they can and hopefully the wind helped take it a little farther than what their kick was. and. Their forwards, their strikers could just run and try to go one-on-one -on -one with the goalie. Now, you said her earlier and, and talked with Coach McGill, too, and he said that you guys tried some different lineups and some different things tonight. How did you feel like that worked? Uh, I felt like it worked out pretty good. Uh, our new, the 4-4-2 that he put up, I felt like that was really good because we have a lot of support with our defense and then our four mids that we had. Our two strikers stayed up on top, and then our mids just had great passes to the forwards, so we had some good ball control and... We basically had the ball in our half most of the game, except for those uh, two goals that the other team scored. Talk about uh, the goal that would have put you guys up two to nothing. Uh, you guys get called for offsides. Uh, what did you see there? How did that play develop? Uh, I felt like I was, I, I guess it's a ref's idea, but I felt like I was almost shoulder to shoulder with the guy, and the ball was just kicked on the ground, and the goalie came up and tried to slide and grab it, and I just tapped it in, but uh, I guess there's a lot of offsides calls tonight. But. How did that impact uh, having that goal taken away? How did that impact you guys uh, maybe mentally after that? It's late in the game. The game's probably wrapped up if you go up 2-0 at that point. Yeah, I felt like if we went up 2-0 at that point, uh, our team probably would have relaxed a little bit, and then we would have probably got scored on. But if we would have went 2-0, I think we probably would have won the game. Uh, it would have got a lot of motivation for our team to just step up and show that Carroll soccer is actually made for something. What you talk about your season a little bit? What do you feel like your season's been like this year? Uh, I feel like our season is hectic. I mean, we have two returning starters, which is me and Keith Wiederin. So we have a lot of new people that don't exactly know how varsity soccer plays and how things go while you're kicking the ball with actually people that know how to play soccer, and it's kind of different from a lower level. But I think that our team is developing. If we would have had some more games added on, not the ones that were canceled, but I think our team's just finally getting to the point where we're working as a team. Blaze, you got another match coming up Thursday night over in Boone. Uh, what do you got to do to come away with a win there? Uh, well, I say that we play like we did tonight, talk to, talk to each other, and I think we should have a good game. I tell you what, wish you the best of luck over in Boone and in Substate coming up. Thanks very much for joining us here Thank today. Thank you.